We would first like to introduce to you the solar electric ship you are presently traveling on. The crystalline silicon models you see on the roof of the boat make up the solar panel. During the day, this panel absorbs solar rays, and this sunshine energy is turned into electricity, which is stored in the lithium batteries in the ship's cabins. It can provide over eight hours of electricity for the ship. Traveling upstream, we will arrive at the river's source, the Renfu district, far from now. The further upstream we go, the narrower the river becomes. At its source, the river is merely a water ditch. We are now heading in the northward direction. We will shortly start our return in front of the Qixian Bridge. After this, we will sense the distance between the embankment and the ship getting wider on both sides. At the end, we will enter the port of Kaohsiung. Over 95% of the water at the lower reaches of the Love River is seawater. As such, there are high and low tide periods in this region. We are about to take you to admire the scenery of this perfect beautiful day. Because of Gaoshin City Government's Love River management efforts, it has become an attraction for the Taiwanese no foreign tourists should miss. Each year, important events are held here, such as the Gaoshin Lantern Art Festival, in which the riverbanks are turned into a romantic sea of lanterns where fantastically beautiful lantern light provides a scene with evident sentimental appeal. During the Chinese New Year, athletes from around the world congregate in Daoshan. The Love River you see today has much improved water quality because of the long period of remediation it underwent. Why was the Love River so polluted in the past? Ash oil there, and the oil from the sea found its way into the river. The Love River was transformed into a filthy ditch. The Gaoshan city government put great effort bridge in the river's lower region at 40 meters in width. The Chongchen Road passes over this bridge. The MRT runs 60 meters below the bottom of the river. On the right hand side is Yancheng Fu, Daoshan City's smallest administrative district. As the name implies, Yan is the Chinese term for salt. It was a place where salt was dried more than 300 years ago. It was an extremely expensive salt field. During the period in which Guoshan Ye ruled, our ancestors had already created a salt field for drying salt in this region. Guoshan Film Archive in 2010. When the Gaoshan city and county government merged, it is sudden. If you look carefully at the right side of the river bridge from here, you can see a great bird standing in Ship Lane of the port of Gaoshan. The port of Gaoshan is 18 kilometers and 9 meters deep. Responsible for the mission of defending the country. However, in 2005, the pier was decommissioned. In commemoration of the pier's glorious history, the city government renamed it to glory both the glory and love pier. The maritime cultural and popular music center was built at the love pier site. This center is comparable to the Sydney. This construction project is referred to as Asia's New Bay Area. Right in front is a two-glass building. Right in the middle, right now you see the flat building. 
That's the tallest building in Kaohsiung City. We call that 85 tower. 85 tower. Why call 85? Because it's going to be 85 floor. Just like the one in Taipei 101 building, why call 101? Because 101 floor. Okay, the one in the middle. And the concept, the concept of the beauty, just like a, a Chinese ca character, Gao, it's Gao Shang. Yeah, it's a Chinese character. The be right in the middle, the black one. Okay, and over here you see that pink, pink beauty, and then on the top they have a several white uh, column. That's your hotel. That's the hotel you're going to stay tonight. Highlight Hotel.